Hey guys, Jeff here from Films at Home, and today I have some insider information that's a little troubling when it comes to major movie studios and major retailers as it pertains to 4K Blu-ray physical media, so stay tuned. Hey everyone, so welcome back to the channel. Thanks for coming back for this video. Like I said, we've got some interesting information that I want to cover regarding the future of 4K physical media and especially how that's going to affect major studio titles and some major retailers. Now, if you're interested in this type of content, 4K, Blu-ray, collecting, home theater reviews, all kinds of that stuff, please subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it so we can hit our goal. And also make sure to like this video and share it so other people can see it. And hopefully this will make some noise in the industry and more corporations and some of these major studios. Maybe somebody at those places will see this and try to adjust their thinking. So basically what's been happening is, is as you know, I, I talk to a lot of people in the industry, um, specifically in physical media. I talk to them about 4K releases that are coming up. I get sent their press releases. You know, I'm, I'm part of their big marketing push basically when a new 4K release comes out because I get very excited about them. They send them to me, I let you guys know, post it on Instagram and on YouTube and it does really well for them. But as I've gained more contacts and I've been talking to some more people, I've gotten to know some of the people who actually work on the transfers on the 4K side of things uh, or who work in marketing for um, different uh, home entertainment departments at studios. And so there have been some rumblings lately, which I want to talk about in this video, specifically as it relates to the Disney and 20th Century Fox merger and some really interesting information about Walmart specifically. So basically, uh, to start things off, you know Disney purchased 20th Century Fox. So Disney owns them now. They own the entire catalog of 20th Century Fox. They're still going through kind of a slow transition, but you've already seen Fox titles show up on Disney+. Plus. You've seen The Simpsons on there. They definitely own all that content. And so one thing that uh, I've been seeing and I've been hearing from others is that there are a lot of Fox catalog titles which have great 4k transfers that disney is just keeping from home media some of those include fight club uh, butch cassidy and the sundance kid uh, home alone speed there's a ton of good catalog titles those are the only ones i can mention because they've been screened in 4k but there are others back in the vault. And if you remember, Fox has done stuff like Alien and like Predator, and they've been putting out their catalog titles for a long time before Disney took them over. And now they've got this kind of backlog of 4K titles, which Disney is refusing to put onto physical media, hasn't even considered it, even though these 4K transfers have been out there for years. Now, if you think about something like Fight Club 4K, that would do extremely well. Butch Cassidy would look awesome. Uh, even Speed, Home Alone, those movies would look great in 4K because they're older movies that are shot on film and the 4K is really going to help with their presentation. But Disney has no interest in putting them out there. Um, this also relates to sort of, you know, Disney's the massive corporation over here that deals with home entertainment. But then we've got Walmart, who's the massive corporation that probably sells more physical media than anybody else um, from one specific retailer uh, standpoint. And what I'm hearing from the industry is that Walmart won't accept any 4K titles that aren't huge major studio titles unless they're under $15. So if you go to Walmart, sure, you're going to be able to get Avengers Endgame or maybe something like John Wick 3, these monster studio titles that are new releases. But even something like Ad Astra from Fox and Disney, if you go to Walmart's site right now and type in Ad Astra 4K, you cannot buy it from Walmart. They only have the Blu-ray. So they're not considering 4K titles worth stocking anymore unless they're under like that roughly $15 price point or they are a absolute major blockbuster movie that they can't miss out on. So that's really concerning because as we get more 4K titles, stuff like The Shining, 2001, A Space Odyssey, Close Encounters, E.T., some of these older movies that I've reviewed, even like Black Hawk Down, um, 
Walmart's not going to carry them because they're going to be at at least a $20 price point and Walmart refuses to do it if it's over 15 if it's not a new release blockbuster title. And so that's really unfortunate because I know a lot of people who only have access to Walmart in their community. They go to Walmart to shop for everything and there's just going to be nothing there for 4K because they refuse to carry it. And the studios cannot put out a new 4K transfer of something like The Shining and price it at $15. It's gonna be impossible for them to get back their costs on all the time and effort and the salaries of the people who had to work on that and the technology and everything that went into making that 4K transfer. If they sell that for 12 or 13 bucks at release date, they're gonna lose millions. They can't do it and then they won't do other 4K titles. So this is really concerning because Walmart's the biggest retailer and they're basically telling studios, we don't want your 4K titles unless they're dirt cheap. And the studios are not going to do that because they're going to lose a ton of money. Now, in that same vein, we've got Disney. And that could be part of the reason why stuff like Speed or Fight Club or Butch Cassidy is not making it out onto physical media. I would consider Disney and Walmart to be the big two corporate overlords of home entertainment because they own all the property and Walmart owns the retail world. I mean, Target and Best Buy, sure, they do fine, but they're nowhere near what Walmart is. Target is arguably close, but still Walmart's a monster. Um, and so Disney's kind of saying, well, we're not going to give them to Walmart because they want them priced ridiculously and we're not going to make any money. And Walmart's saying, well, we're not going to take them if you price them at $20. And so there we get no releases coming from Disney or Fox on 4K unless it's like Avengers Endgame or um, you know, the new, the, whatever the new Marvel or Star Wars movie is, those will still get 4K releases, but you're not going to get any of the back catalog titles, which is really too bad because Disney obviously has great catalog titles and they've been putting those out in 4K, um, but really you're only going to see them pop up at Best Buy and other places. And those are movies that have been, you know, widely available on Blu-ray for a long time and have pretty good transfers. They're animated titles. But you're not going to see some of the older Disney stuff and you're not going to see, more importantly, the Fox stuff get out there in 4K. People would love a 4K release of Fight Club or Speed or Butch Cassidy, but Disney's just not going to do it. What may end up happening is I bet you see these come to Disney Plus in 4K because that costs them virtually nothing. You can put Fight Club and Disney Plus on 4K, although they probably won't because they're weird about R-rated movies. But think about Home Alone. Home Alone probably won't get a 4K release. It has a 4K transfer. It could get a 4K release, but it's just sitting there and they're probably going to pop it onto Disney Plus like they've done with many other 4K titles um, in their catalog and then just leave it there and never get a physical release. So that sucks for those of us who want to collect and uh, may be interested in buying Home Alone on 4K because we're just never going to get the chance to. And if you think about the backlog of all Fox catalog, uh, catalog titles, obviously they have a huge catalog. They were second in line, arguably first ahead of Disney for probably a long time in the 80s and 90s when it came to entertainment. Um, and so there's just so much potential out there that I don't think it's going to see the light of day because of this argument between Disney wanting to put stuff on streaming, big retailers like Walmart not wanting to carry it. It's a really bad sign for 4K, but specifically Disney and Fox titles. <laughs> so I'm hoping by making this video, somebody out there will see it and realize that there is still this collector community that will support these movies. If Fight Club came out in 4K, I think that would be a really premiere release. I think that would sell really well along the same lines as stuff like Alien, uh, Predator, or you know, The Shining. It's a classic movie that people want to see in the best presentation they can. And it's very well known. I think it's a cult classic and people would pick that up very quickly on 4K. It's one of the greatest movies ever made in my opinion. Um, so hopefully somebody sees this at Disney, at Fox, um, whatever's left of Fox, maybe at Walmart, maybe a buyer at Walmart can see this. But um, it's a little concerning. And this is what I'm hearing again from all people inside the industry. I'm not going to name names. I'm not going to say where they work, who they work for, what they do. But I've talked to quite a few people and this is the direction they're telling me that the, the kind of home entertainment world is heading towards. And it's a little bit scary because Disney and Fox own so much of entertainment. 
Um, you know, obviously Warner Brothers, Paramount, Lionsgate, um, all these other guys, A24, they're still kind of keeping up with the physical media, even A24 slipping a little bit, but at least Paramount, Warner Brothers, and Lionsgate have a nice backlog of 4K. They're putting out 4K titles, so we'll still have good stuff, but just, you know, Disney and Fox takes out, boom, like half of the titles that are available, and if we lose Walmart, that's a huge hit to physical media, so... Hopefully you guys will share this video, like the video so it gets more traction. Definitely continue to share it, uh, subscribe to the channel, let people know about this because I think it's important that Disney and Fox see that there is this support out there that, you know, if you put out Fight Club in 4K, you might be able to sell 50,000 copies of that and easily make your money back plus some and you're going to make people very happy um, and it's going to continue to push the Disney brand and you can do whatever you want to the packaging. I know they're going to screw with that. I don't even care anymore. I just want these releases in 4K if possible and hopefully Walmart will get their act together and realize Best Buy is still selling a ton of these. Target still sells a good amount of them online and a lot of the independent stores like Bull Moose are still selling a ton of 4K titles and so it's definitely... Um, still a viable market. It's a billion dollar plus market in 4K. And if Walmart's gonna go out there and sell hundreds and thousands of 4K TVs, they're kind of hypocrites to not sell any 4K discs with them um, because that's a good chunk of what those people will wanna see is true 4K content. And otherwise it's gonna make the TVs look kind of crap if they're just watching streaming and not seeing a big difference between their new 4K TV in their old one. Now I know Walmart doesn't care about that, but I think people will start to care and realize, oh, why am I buying a 4K TV? It's not doing anything for me. I want a 4K disc to see what it's all about. So like I said, share the video. Remember to follow me on Instagram. Check out all the links down in my description and always support these 4K titles. If there is a title you really like, that you know especially a re-release something older i try to talk those up a lot because i think they're the best looking but again stuff like et close encounters um when jaws 4k comes out when back to the future 4k indiana jones 4k all these 4k movies that are coming out support them purchase them um share them online let people know that we're still very interested in getting these high quality transfers for our home theaters and i think that'll help the whole industry realize that there's still a market out here um sure dvd sales might be better than blu-ray and blu-ray is better than 4k but it's still a billion dollar industry and to shut that down would make no sense so thank you for watching this um hopefully it was a little bit informative a little bit scary it gives you an idea of how disney's kind of taking over and how that could be a bad thing for home entertainment and home theater um and what walmart's up to as always they're always doing crazy stupid stuff to hurt people and not be a great company but that's beside the point um so thank you for watching hopefully this was informative and i will talk to you guys soon with more videos stay tuned for the top 10 of 2019 that video is coming very soon so you'll want to be subscribed so you see that and i uh, hope you guys had a great holiday and i'll talk to you soon